Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm gonna be going in how much have I spent on my car alone. Alright? So let's go, let's get it started. It's gonna be crazy amounts of money. Maybe, maybe not, but hopefully something interesting for you guys. Just to see how much all it that I've done to it costs. Alright, let's get into it. So we're gonna get started first of all with the front end. So the bumper is a separate thing. I will not go into that price right now, but let's talk about the hood, all right? The hood and the fenders. So because they are from Sabin Carbon, which is a name brand, it makes this hood twice as expensive as, uh, how can I say, uh, Carbon Creations or something like that. So starting with the hood alone was $900. $900 alone, not counting tax and even freight shipping as well. All right, so the hood alone is $900. If you come around the side here, we have Sabin fenders as well. And these alone were another $800, $800. So in these two things, we have around $1,700 to $1,800 just in these two parts alone, all right? Here we have the Spec D headlights. And these were actually given to me by Christmas, but if you guys want to know the price of these, they go around $150 to $200 um, at the time. I'm not sure what they go around for right now, but it should be around the same price. All right, so you guys come over on this side. All right, so now we come to the wheels. I know they're a little bit dirty, and you guys, uh, if you can see, they're avid wheels, all right? So these wheels actually cost me around $550. Um, they're probably around $650 right now. So wheels are $550. I have uh, drilled and slotted rotors. Those went for about, I think, $50 to $60 for a pair. Um, yeah, so that's the wheels. And then let me pop the hood real quick and we'll talk about that. So if you guys can see, now we're going into the engine bay. How much have I spent inside the engine bay? So first to first, carbon fiber cover, real carbon fiber. That was $100, and I think they're still the same price today. We have headers. Um, that was given to me as a present as well for Christmas um, years ago. But I think that goes around $100 to $200, depending on what brand you go for. And then we have Mishimoto hoses for a Mishimoto radiator. The radiator alone, I think that was about another hundred and twenty dollars um, at the time for the Scion TC, and it came with the it came alone. But I got the Mishimoto hoses for another about twenty five dollars in there. Oil catch can, it's universal. That rent from about twenty dollars as well, and the cold air intake as well was another um, eighty to ninety dollars. So inside the hood, inside the engine bay alone, those are the mods as it stands right now. And that's how much they cost. And also hella horns, if you want to count that as a mod, that was another uh, $20, $30 as well. All right, so let's move on from the engine bay. Let's go. All right, now we're gonna go to the rear guys and I'm gonna show you what we have done there. There's up now. So here in the back of the car, we have a super rare Racing Solutions Duckbill in carbon fiber. I got this when they first came out. They were around $350. So um, they're no longer made, which makes them super, super rare. And then this right here, because I broke the original bracket, I got the metal reinforced one. That was another um, $50 right there. I think we got it at the time. They may be more now. I don't know. But we also have the um, Spec D tail lights. Spec D diamond tail lights, and these they go for around again 150 to 200 dollars as well. And they're super awesome LEDs, super bright bulbs, and um, I'm just in love with them. So that's it for the trunk setup, but also we have a Spec D um, full exhaust system from you know the header all the way to the back. And we went on the cheaper side with this one because I split my other exhaust in half. But this one goes for around $100, $120 as well for a full exhaust system. And it does sound raspy at times, 
but you can change the muffler out and make it get somebody to weld it up a different one on there and you'll get that nice um, muffled sound or more of a how can I say low tone growl if you do that alrighty right here we have Evo short antenna which I'm going to repaint because I did this in a hurry and it doesn't look good so I'm going to repaint this but this came from a Mitsubishi Evo it's a short antenna for the Santi seat which fits the round circles very very well which is why I went with this one instead of going for the other ones that they had but um all right another thing window tint this I got about five years ago it's um 15 percent all around and it cost me about $120 as well back in North Carolina done with the friend alrighty now if you guys follow me back to the driver's side Here's one of my other costly things. This is a custom made Grip Royal steering wheel that my dog ate up when we left her in the car. Um, per decision by me, I should have taken the steering wheel with me. But um, this cost me $300 and it took about a month to be made and another month to be shipped out by Grip Royal. But um, yeah, I'll be fixing this up. You guys will see a video on it later on in the channel. Just a heads up, but yeah. So guys, so far, we talked about everything that's on the car right now, and let's talk about everything that's about to go on the car right now, that I have, but it's not yet installed, but still count as spending money on the car. That would be the front bumper. So originally, to do a front bumper like that will cost you around $600 if you're doing it by yourself, $900 if you get someone else to do it like us, but for me, it cost around $200 so far just for materials and having to get one of the bumpers off a junkyard and paint as well. So that's another $200, could have been $600. And then my rear bumper, which we're gonna be working on today, which I will make another video for you guys to see, that cost me around $300 with freight shipping. And, um, and yeah, I'm working on it. Hopefully we get some primer on it and stuff like that get it put on the car soon because we do have a car show coming up next month on the 13th of February so stay tuned for that and yeah so so far that's everything you've spent the money on in the car not counting however the much the car is worth and not counting all the parts that I had to replace that I've broken or that just need to be replaced in general so if you guys can add all of that up let me know how much you got in the description in the next video, I'll be posting up how much I actually spent on all these parts combined, and I will let you guys know. All right, so if you think about doing this to your car, hey, save up. Save up, save up, save up, because nothing is cheap in this world, all right? That being said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.